My name is Alex Alexiev and I'm a senior designer at McLaren Automotive. I work in the design studio uh, and help create some of the vehicles behind me. The McLaren Speedtail is our Hyper GT. It's, it's the car that uh, is, is sits at the Ultimate Series lineup and it's uh, really the pinnacle of uh, the engineering and development. Particularly in this case, what makes Speedtail very unique is, is the fact that the driver is uh, sitting in the center. It's a layout that we're used to and familiar with. But uh, this is the reimagination of what a Hyper GT future concourse car is. So when designing a car with uh, three seats, uh, it, it provides multiple opportunities and a lot of learning as well during the design process. One of the things we had to do from the get-go is really focus on the driver and putting him at the center of the driving experience. So in order to create that good experience, we, we had to really reference what we've done previously. We did a lot of benchmarking and what we did was compared other vehicles like the McLaren F1 that we have on our boulevard. This allowed us to understand what we did really well in the past and potentially where there were areas to improve. We were able to increase leg room, hip room, shoulder room, and all of those things ultimately contribute to kind of this great driving experience of the Speedtail. So the ergonomics or styling buck, effectively a full-size model of the interior, usually made out of foam or a clay as you get into the design process. What we do is we machine clay onto the buck as well. So as we have a design, we can actually refine it. We can see it in 3D, we can manipulate it and scan it back in and then take it back into digital again. So it's one of the most effective tools to design an interior because it's, it's your touch point of what the car and interior looks and feels like. So as we design the car, we would always reference this buck. And in the buck, we would put different size adults as well. So we would get Robin in there, you'd get Steve, and we'd cycle through different body types within the studio and within the company. Well, obviously, we're catering to a 95th, 98th percentile occupant. So we need to make sure that we can cover off all kinds of shapes and sizes. You look at passenger comfort, you look at seat sections and you're making sure that the seat pads that come around the passenger cover off certain key points around the shoulders, around the hips, things like that. Just to be able to make sure that what you're doing not only looks good but performs well and in this case is a nice comfortable place to be for a long you know, drive across Europe. Towards the end it's, it's effectively used as a sign-off model. In the end it becomes the, the last representation of what the interior is. We always reference that buck you know, as the final cars are finished. That is the hero image of, of the car and what we try to take through the whole process. When we finished the show car behind me, you know, it was an incredible experience to sit in, inside the car because we always have ideas and we go through many, many thousands of ideas during the d design process of a car. But when the one kind of key sketch is, is selected, following that through the design process, when you sit in it at the end, you can have the biggest grin in your face because there is the vision that we all delivered and, and it's, it's like nothing else that you've sat in before. Extremely rewarding and extremely kind of unifying experience because we, we all feel like some, something great's been achieved.